my gosh, that thing was huge. So by now, I'm sure you've seen some of the big waves that came rolling through Southern California in this recent swell. This day was just crazy. It wasn't like the rest. It was huge and unruly, breaking way, way far out. I saw it breaking so far out uh, that, that I've never seen before, literally miles out to sea. When I started my day off, I took a look around at some of the spots that normally can handle these big waves here in the South Bay region of Los Angeles. And it was just too unruly. It was just breaking so far out. Nobody wanted to go out. And I don't blame them because it was literally wave after wave after wave after wave coming through, washing through, and just a, a nightmare to attempt to paddle out. I knew some of the local lifeguards and they were going to be doing some big wave training, you know, where they take other lifeguards out, drop them off and they come back in and save them. So I know the skis were going to be out. So I figured, all right, I can go over there, shoot that to show how big it was because you need something out there to show how big the actual wave is or it just looks like waves rolling through could be any size. So I got down there and I saw the ski was out there. I said, great. So I'm going to start shooting the ski. And then I ran to a buddy and he said, hey, you know, Shane Gallus is getting ready to go paddle out. Uh, Shane Gallus and a boogie boarder trying to paddle. Think, think they're going to make it? I think they need to ski. I don't think it's going to happen without a ski. Shane surfs big waves every time they come through. He lives for it. He's also a lifeguard. He knows how to handle that much water moving around. I watched him attempt to make it out and it was brutal. He paddled out for... I don't know, maybe 45 minutes to an hour, and he never gave up. He kept going and kept going. Just that will to make it out to ride one of these things was insane to watch. And then you kind of see him out in the lineup, and he's just getting pushed around and see him climbing over these huge walls of water. For those of you who don't surf big waves or don't understand or, or maybe don't surf at all, I've never been out in the ocean, to catch a wave of that size, you've really got to have a lot of paddle power. That's a tongue twister there. These waves are moving super fast. So imagine you're just sitting out there from a dead standstill and you got to paddle as fast as these waves are going, 25 miles an hour or whatever it is. So to catch one of those big ones, it's just so hard. So to catch the largest sets that were coming through was almost impossible without getting a ski assist. So to watch him out there just roaming around looking for that right size and guesstimating because if you paddle for one wave and you miss it, more than likely, you know, his brothers and sisters are coming in behind you to just pummel the heck out of you. In came this wave. Shane turns around, paddles for it and gets it. Now, as you see, where it picks up right here, you could straighten out and just try to outrace the white water and hopefully make it to shore, but, but not Shane. You know what? If you're out there doing that, just pull in, hang on and get ready to go through the rinse cycle. So he does that gets pummeled into this barrel. And then he paddles back out as if to go, Hey, you know what? All right. That was fun. I'm still alive. I want to go do that again. He got a couple more. Yeah. Oh, this one's gonna get meaty on the inside. No. A little fade, nice. And he had the experience of being out while these enormous mountains of water were roaming past him. It was also really fun to watch these lifeguards on these jet skis out there. As you can tell, obviously, they have a motor so they can catch some of these bigger waves, as you can see here. This is insane. This is something that we just don't see very often, especially here in Los Angeles. So to see these size waves roll through and to have somebody on them, even with a jet ski, really shows the pure size that these waves were. These 
line is just stacking up out back. There you go. Oh, that's a bomb. way behind him. Overall, we've seen waves like this before here in Los Angeles, but not very often. So it was truly magical to watch. I was stoked that Shane paddled out there and, and challenged these waves without a jet ski, like just straight paddling out. Nobody else was going out that day. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm Brad Jacobson, and I'll see you on the sand.